The following game has been rated T for Teen by the ESRB for Fantasy Violence, Mild Language, and Drug References. That means anyone under the age of 13 should not be watching this video. You have been warned. Greetings and salutations, I am Outlier and I bid you welcome to this channel. Joining me today is of course my usual co-hosts, Snowball and Wolf. And today we are returning back to Starpoint Gemini Warlords. Now this isn't the Medieval Life Simulator. Well, no, because at the time of this recording, I don't actually own that game. So the premise of the Starpoint Gemini series is that you command a starship to do starship things. And you operate in and around the binary star system known as Gemini. It was originally colonized by an organization known as the Terran Empire. And sometime before the first game, uh, the Gemini system desired its independence from said empire. So they fought a war against said empire. And uh, at some point someone used reality bending weapons to basically... Uh, how do I want to put this? Rip a hole in the very fabric of space-time, and basically cut off the Gemini system from everywhere. Uh, time passed, the Gemini system evolved and uh, built itself up to what we'll eventually see in-game. Which I think so. I, I, I'm running off topic. But uh, eventually they... Uh, do eventually regain contact with the old Earth Empire, uh, stuff happens, and I believe Earth gets attacked by an alien species. All this happened in the second Starpoint Gemini game, uh, one I didn't really play to completion. Uh, but anyway, a faction of that empire manages to sneak into and settle into Gemini, uh, changing their name to the Solari Concord, of which your character is a member. And over the course of this specific game, uh, the Solari Concord has gone from being a somewhat backwater uh, minor faction of the Gemini system to, well, still being a backwater minor faction of the Gemini system, but uh, with a lot more ships. As at the very beginning, our prototype battleship was destroyed by raiders, and now I'm flying around in the, well, production model of said battleship. And one thing that makes uh, Warlords different from pretty much every other game in the Starpoint Gemini series is that while in every game you do command a starship for doing starship things, in Warlords you also command a fleet of AI-controlled vessels uh, who can follow you around, uh, do your bidding, back you up in a fight, or if you rather not want to get your hands dirty personally or you're off doing some other thing, uh, you can basically send them to fend for themselves, conquering territory in your faction's name, defending territory in your faction's name, and that's pretty much the gist of the real-time strategy elements. Uh, 
Currently in game, we're still in the process of gathering a massive, massive pile of resources to finish the research for the various subsystems for a massive super capital weapons platform known as the Proxima, which our, I guess, colleague, friend, work buddy, former boss, now our employee, uh, feels is the only way to protect uh, Phaneros, the planet that the uh, Solari Concord operates out of, and the Concord as a whole, and hopefully includes our allies in this, from the uh, deprivations of the pirates who managed to sneak aboard uh, Concordia Station, which is technically our headquarters uh, for the military fleet that I command, still said plans from him of the Proxima and are in the process of building one of their own. Because nothing says peaceful uh, coexisting civilizations like one super weapon, uh, and it says it even more when two people have them. Yes, and look how the Cold War turned out. So, this episode is pretty much just going to be a continuation of last episode where, uh, with the ever need to gain more resources, I basically take territory from my faction's enemies and uh, use that to fuel the ever-increasing research costs and demands of the Proxima. Because while apparently we went about securing resources to actually build the thing, we didn't secure enough resources to actually figure out how to do so. But I'm going to assume that's a future problem, and uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Speaking of crossing bridges, this game is of course made by... Thank you again. And uh, that being said, let us begin. Alright, so this is our ship. This is the battleship I mentioned. Uh, these are our friends. This is the fleet that I command. Uh, this is a carrier, a larger capital ship. This is a war master, specifically Leonard Maxton, who is an NPC uh, character that basically flies and commands their own ships and has their own leveling and experience schematic, uh, schemes and uh, uh, special abilities and the like. And he's currently piloting a Dreadnought, which is for some reason smaller than a carrier. Well, not for some reason smaller than a carrier, it is smaller than a carrier. Uh, whereas this is another carrier, uh, this is a third carrier, uh, that's a Halberd class Dreadnought piloted by our friend Nika, one of uh, the second of three uh, War Masters, this is the third, Tara Higgs, uh, one of our friends, uh, who's piloting yet another carrier. And uh, there should be two other carriers about, and that basically consists of our entire fleet. Why, well, meanwhile, I'm currently in a battleship, and yes, that means I'm currently piloting the smallest ship in my primary fleet. And by primary fleet, I mean only fleet, because it takes forever and a day to build things this large, and uh, I basically need ships this large to actually do anything, and they like giving me hugs. Okay, so enough about that. This is the map. So, for those who haven't seen last episode, uh, there was a hostile um, faction known as the Helmsford Barony. I think they were at war with uh, the Maganoke Barony, operating out of Baylor. Uh, and they became friends with us. This is us up here. And so I decided since I needed resources and wasn't willing to wait the massive pile of days, weeks, and months to act, of real time to actually gather said resources, I went about and uh, started gathering, well, new territory to uh, gain the resources I need to research and build the Proxima, which is happening at the Proxima construction site at least I assume that it is, uh, because I haven't been back to Concordia in quite some time. Speaking of Concordia, apparently I lost a carrier at some point, and uh, I feel the need to build a new one. Because, as I said, I am building up a massive pile of resources, 
and nothing says build up a massive pile of resources like actually spending resources. Which means I have to build up more. So, always fun. But, once it gets built, I'll have the uh, carriers up at maximum. And, uh, speaking of researching the Proxima, if we go to the research screen, which apparently can't be accessed from the map, but at Proxima, this is all that we have left. The shielded core housing, the core antimatter injector, uh, weapons targeting the uh, Mark VI, the rift modulator, and the emergency jump. So these are all the various technologies I have left. Everything in yellow, I've already finished. And as you can see, it takes a massive pile of both materials, or technically gas, and credits. And everything in red is a category I don't have enough of. So in order to gain more of said resources, I've been spending the last couple of episodes basically uh, completing a War of Conquest on basically anything that looks like it has an asteroid field because up until recently, uh, ore was the major uh, restricted, restriction, critical path. Basically, it's the one thing that I needed the most of that I was getting the least of. So, what is this and why is it red? Huh. Apparently, this part, this particular st independent station is not being controlled by uh, the Maganot Barney, and it is flagged red. Add that to the to-do list. In the meantime... Uh, the major threat to this territory right in here, uh, is the Scent Chunk Barony, which is, I think how you pronounce it, operating out of this planet. Now, I can't take planets at this particular, uh, time, but I can take everything around the planet. And they've been made, uh, mostly a threat to my friends the Maganote Barony. So, since I crushed basically all of Helmsford last episode, as I, uh, failed to mention as part of a joke, I've been... Uh, mentioning a Helms for Barney in the past tense because I, as far as I know, I took all of their stuff. So, I figured, you know, due to Scent Chunk, basically what I did to Helms for it. I'm not taking the planet, but I can take the other three regions, and hopefully that A adds to my uh, manufacturing capabilities in the form of new resources, and B uh, helps to take pressure off of Maganot. And if all else fails, uh, there's still what looks like an asteroid field in this undisclosed location. More territory up here that I could probably take, or at the very least defend, uh, because they've been sending hostile fleets down this way, although not recently. So, all that fun stuff. There is also this area up here, guarded by this ridiculously small fleet of one Corvette, and has no uh, zone control area unless you count a massive, massive fleet of dreadnoughts, so... I could go up there, but even with five carriers, three war masters, and the battleship I fly, uh, I don't think my chances are good up here. So, those are my options, and as such, let's hit up this bounty because he is worth 10 million credits. Also, I should probably send my uh, civilian fleets out to do various things. And the various things that they can do are basically these little icons here. So, I can send one fleet out on a junkyard salvage run, uh, another fleet out on another junkyard salvage run. Kind of need materials, so. I can trade gas for materials here, so I'll send out a fleet to do that. And what just happened? Military fleets have been fighting over a zone in Decadence Ward. Where is... Okay, so... An enemy fleet has decided to take this area. So, my options are to ignore it, and given the difference in fleet power, uh, that means I'm going to lose the uh, zone in about two minutes. A little over two minutes. Uh, which means this area gets flagged red, which means I lose it. Which means they probably move on to one of these areas. Uh, by contrast, I can rush to defend it, but there's no way I'm getting there in two minutes, so... Uh, they're going, I'm going to lose this anyway. But I can put it on the to-do list of things to do.
In the meantime, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yes, because uh, I you always seem to need more uh, materials. In fact, up until the need to build the Proxima, materials has been the major thing that's been stopping me doing anything. Just send out the last couple of fleets. So all of these require two fleets. This one requires one, and uh, all my civilian fleets are currently being used. Do you guys mind? Alright, and here we are with a bounty located. He's in a frigate and already. Oh, wrong button. Batteries fire at will. And already, with one salvo, one of my shields is already half -dead. And we're dead, so that did not take long. Yes, the whole, you know, one volley caused the entire uh, shield to collapse. Probably should have been a good indicator of, what, of how deadly that particular ship is. Of course, since I had to reload, uh, the carrier that I had ordered hadn't been ordered yet, so let's put that in the queue. And so I'm assuming a fleet's going to come from somewhere. And I need the appropriate research garrison to upgrade this even further. Of course, that would only give me a fleet power of 5,000, and the fleet that hit this thing had like a fleet power of, I think, 1,700? Should stop somewhere and pick up some more capsule drives. Not capsule drives. Uh, T charge drives. Capsule drive is a different FTL uh, engine from a different game. Similar to this one, but uh, different. All right, I actually lost place of where I was. Like, I don't see my ship up here, and then I realize uh, that's not, um, Baylor. Yeah, I've been taking quite a different bunches of territory, uh, mainly because people have been asking me to. And we entered the, uh, location of an anomaly, and someone is out here. Roger that. Commencing automated firing sequence. Alright, everybody pile on him. All and deploy the fighters. Launch. Let's actually try to stay out of range, given how quickly he killed uh, my ship the last time. until the rest of my fleet shows up. Yeah, I'm currently out of range from my, uh, super weapons. Not super weapons, super weapons. Oh, there goes most of my aft shield. I think 3500 is, uh, my primary range. Quite a bit of health. Alright, charge the shield. 
Cloak the ship. Because we lost four shields somehow, and we're now down to half health. And uh, someone's fighting in the Outer Lands now. So they attacked this station, and I now have ten minutes to get there. So let's uh, repair the ship using the auto drones. Uh, we collected some pirate currency in the fat in the uh, term of plasma reds. And more plasma rifles. Apparently, every pirate carries plasma rifles. And every pirate and plasma rifles are also illegal everywhere. I don't know who's shooting this guy. Everybody focus on him. Why am I shooting at a destroyer? Probably right because he's within range. Why does that destroyer look so small? Because the destroyer should be medium sized vessel. And I lost somebody. That's probably why. He's probably deploying some sort of hologram. Make my gun crew target something that isn't there. Use the shields again. They're only targeting him when I'm within range. And he's now dead. Alright, so we killed a bounty, gained a large amount of stuff, and went up in the level. Also, one of my war masters got taken out. So let's head over here and see if we can get back get down there in about ten minutes. In the meantime. Go to build ships. We need to replace a War Master. Actually, Maxim was killed, taken out. All I have to do is pay him money and add it to the queue. In this case, it's uh, about 500,000 credits, and uh, he gets a new Dreadnought. Okay, that was the... I clicked the wrong thing there. But, oh well. Of course, now the question is, can I actually get down here in about seven minutes? Is there a T gate I can take? Not really. As far as I know, the closest T gate's like uh, here. That's an inactive T gate too. There's a wormhole that I could build a T-gate on, but uh, this area is controlled by an ally, hence why it's green. And I'm not in the business of turning enemies into, well, turning friends into enemies. I'd much prefer to turn enemies into friends, but, um, you know, the only way to do that is through conquest. At least in this game. Diplomacy here, as far as I know, is just simply a prelude to war. I once again forgot to recall the fighters. 
They really hate me. You know what? We are under threat, so keep moving. Why did we just cut out um, sublight? Oh, we'll never know. This has picked up quite a bit of materials because I now have more than enough materials to probably research everything. enough water to research this, but uh, I can research most other things. Let's go with weapons targeting. Realigning course. Yeah, I got five minutes left at this fight, and I've gone from here at seven minutes to about here at five and a half. So I don't think I'm actually going to be able to make it in time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to Baylor because that's, as far as I can tell, the closest friendly major system port area, I think. And hopefully they have enough T-Drive charges I can actually jump, well, right on top of the station. Hopefully. If not, it's going to get interesting. And by interesting, I mean they take it, I have to take it back. So all my civilian fleets are done. Alright, and uh, here we are at Baylor. Because it's a planet, we don't dock at a port, we dock at the, uh, well, we do dock at a port. Uh, it's just not inside of a docking bay. And even though things like plasma rifles are illegal everywhere, uh, you can still sell them off. The uh, trading system is really a uh, secondary mechanic in this game, I guess. But speaking of trading, if we look at equipment, where are the... Alright, so they don't actually sell T-Drive charges. All right, well, that zone is lost. Clear the dock. On the plus side, the fighters caught up. So that's always fun. So uh, let's head back there as, close, as fast as we can. On the plus side, if we do take the long uh, flying route, I will manage to cleave through these regions so I can see what's actually there. Well, something tells me sent chunk, the Sent Chunk Barney will get a uh, pass for today. Because I'll be off fighting everywhere else. I mean, they're pretty close in terms of fleet power. Uh, the defending garrison, or at least what's left of it, has one carrier and one corvette fighting against a dreadnought and a destroyer. And I'm assuming whatever defenses are around this station, because unlike uh, this guard post, the station actually provides a uh, rather large boost, and they're also defended by their own defensive systems. On the plus side, the carrier's done. So they've just started building, rebuilding Maxton's Dreadnought. Do I want to know what I flew into? All no, I don't think I do. Half the, uh, this area is hostile. What else is new? Well, there's a junkyard here in case I need new, uh, another source of materials. Alright, so it's one carrier versus one dreadnought. Given the fact that Tactical their fleet power is now higher than... I mean, defensive fleet, I'm actually don't think I'm going to win this one. Wow. My fleet actually won that. I honestly was not expecting that. Huh. 
Well, on that note, I seem to, there seems to be a uh, battle going on right here, so what are friends for if we don't help each other out? On a side note, uh, the weapons targeting computer project is now done, so that's one more thing towards the Proxima we've completed. Meantime, that's dead. Target is down. What is that? And apparently we captured the zone. Okay, that's weird. I was under the impression that this was under control of our HQ allies. Reports, one of our fleets have returned. Why did we just capture it? I mean, I won't complain. It's a massive asteroid field. Just start building that. Even has a uh, automated repair facility here. Engaging sublight. But this is all under command of our allies, and I would prefer not to step on their toes. Let's also upgrade this because it's still surrounded by hostile territory. Right, in the meantime... Let's re uh, start researching the power core. It's the antimatter injector. I guess the other half of the power core. So, where's the thing that controls the zone so I can take it and make it mine? Hmm. All decks were flying through hostile space. It's a hostile fleet, I'm assuming, heading towards this now guard post. Let me explain to them why that's a bad decision to do that. Assuming I make it in time. Chances are good, uh, probably just gonna chase them all the way back to the guard post. If something tells me all ships move FTL speeds at relatively the same. Because I don't think we've actually gotten closer to them than where we were originally. Still, their fleet's only slightly more powerful than my guard post's defensive fleet. And if I bothered to research garrisons, uh, I could be upgraded even further and uh, be even more protected. HQ reports one of our fleets have returned. Cool. And a battle has started. As expected, they got to the guard post before I got to them. Well, to be fair, there wasn't much of a uh, difference. Get back here. Okay, the heavy weapons are probably over. We destroyed an enemy target. It's actually a lot of fight. And it's dead. Next. I 
I didn't even get a shoot at that one. Blow up whatever remains. Alright, and on that note, uh, let's get back to doing what we're doing. Engage sublight. And uh, this is now back to being under attack. So they got... I have two battleships, uh, two cruisers, a frigate, two corvettes, and four gunships. Whereas there are two carriers, a dreadnought battleship, two cruisers, destroyers, and a whole bunch of stuff. I actually have slightly better fleet power than they do. And I'm also closer now than I used to be. So Let's see if we're going to actually get there this time. Part of me thinks that the enemy fleets are coming from up here, but this is also still Outland's territory, so it could be coming from the planet. I don't actually see the fleet before it engages, so I don't actually know what route they take. HQ reports one of our fleets have returned. All decks were flying through hostile space. Half this game are flying through hostile space. What else is new? On well, plus side, the core antimatter injector is now complete. So let's go with the rift modulator now, and now I have practically no more credits, so that's always fun. Can't even buy a new, bigger ship, but then again, I don't think I could to begin with. I think the new, bigger ships all cost like 60 million credits or so. At most, I had like 10. Now, taking out the bounty netted me 10, so I had 15. Spent it all researching the various chunks of the super capital ship, so. We'll see how that goes. On the plus side, Max now has a new vessel, so. The Nebula Nightmares. I don't come up with the names. I really do not come up with the names. Where is the nearest T gate? Really? All the HQ way up here? sends word that one of our fleets have finished their task. Okay. I'll go here. Pop out here, and then hang here. I'll be back eventually. You grace us with your presence. Cool. Who are we fighting? Oh, they even have a war master. But you know what? I'm here now. Deploy fighters. Probably, but not today. Yes. We destroyed an enemy target. Also, not talking to me. Probably not talking to me. Don't much care. Oh, goody, a dreadnought. We boost the shields. that I'm usually operating at, special abilities do have to happen ridiculously close. Except for the cloaking device, but, you know, that's more of a defensive one. It can just happen wherever. Shield down to Flip around so that way we give him a uh, shield facing that isn't One of our fleets have 
course, they say that as they turn the damage shield to them. Well, let's actually deploy troops just for the fun and profit. So, they breach the hull, swing clean through the cargo bay, and they will not have enough troops to actually do anything else. So, let's uh, get to the shield generator, I guess, and uh, 34% pillage, never mind. Oh, there's a war master here, a carrier war master. Okay, let's reboost the shields. Everybody's fighting him. And he's dead now. Hostile target eliminated. My cargo bay is full. And now they go all crazy on the dreadnought. Okay, that's interesting. I finished researching uh, the tenth one and, um, well, the tenth thing of research, and I got a message from Concordia to return. So, I guess that's what we're doing next. Let's just head back to the station real quick. Just uh, sell off everything. Rearm, don't need to repair because we didn't actually take any damage. And let's leave. Pick up the next payload. Sell all that just simply because it's essentially free money. And now I need to go to the proximate construction site. Since I don't have any T drives, and I actually meant to check to see if I could actually buy them. Stop. Go to stock. This was a pirate base, so that would explain all the skull and bones uh, imagery. All right, uh, equipment. This morning, decoy, T drive. Here we go. I have. They have. This is actually my list. So this is their list. I buy all of them. Cost 560 credits. Probably worth it. Good luck. Of course, now, that I mean, now I'm left to wonder why exactly. If the other, if Baylor actually had them, I was just reading the wrong list. So let's head up this way to see what's here and uh, if we can easily take it on the way back to Concordia. Which means Centrum Barney gets yet another reprieve. Also, can I research anything else? shipbuilding. And actually no, because I don't have enough credit to do anything else. Side note. HQ sends word that one of our fleets have finished their task. Nope. Hang on. Side note, Maxton's fleet can uh, jump back to Concordia. Because I probably won't need them there. Uh, need them where they are at. If I'm heading back to Concordia anyway, I can link up there. Unless, of course, our chaos breaks loose again, which would not surprise me. That's usually how this game operates. 
going to be another empty zone area, isn't it? Now, unless the things I'm looking for are literally right up against the um, edge of the map, I'm fairly certain I would have seen them. Although, there is the uh, control point for this, the Tortuga Bay Military Station, with approximate fleet power of 17,640. And uh, my main fleet has a fleet power of 25,000 some odd, some odd. And we engage. And, wow, it's actually an asteroid, I think. Enemy installation right. is within our sensor range. I'll take a closer look at it once I'm no longer in combat. So we just basically turn around and wait for our friends to show up. Because I am not fighting all of these guys by myself. Our friends are showing up. Plus, it allows the defensive fleet to get away from the uh, gun emplacements around the station. Which means I can take out the defensive fleet relatively easily, comparatively. And uh, then worry about all oh, 50 million people just shooting my vessel. You're dead. You're pretty much dead. Just start taking fire from the station itself. I'm sure you will. Of course. You Flip it around, and boost the shield. Dead now. Oh, a battleship. Start taking fire from who knows what. Oh, carrier. Okay. Can we not target the freighters? There's a distraction from the guys with the guns. Target the dang destroyer. Now it's dead. Works for me. Cloak the ship. Say cloak the ship. Send over the Marines. Reach the hull. Run past the cargo bay. Skip the engine room. Move on past. Go to the med bay. Head off to weapons control. Move past weapons control. Let's try to take the bridge at 62% chance success rate. We failed to capture the vessel, okay. That just means I should have uh, pillaged the weapons. But I saw the number of troopers I had left and decided to take again. Boost the shields again. And he's now dead. Okay. Yeah, so let's left at the platforms. Okay, why aren't I moving at full speed? Excuse me. Target the platform, not the shield battery. Platform 
platforms target us, and I don't need to destroy all the shield batteries to win. the zone for all the fighters. Higgs and Nika go up a level. Max and Private would have too, except he's no longer here because he got his ship blown up and um, yeah, he's back at Concordia. So let's dock here just for fun and to see what's available. I don't actually have any pirate currency. Okay. The uh, plasma rifles. Alright, rearm. Yet again. 27 T drives. Sure, why not? How many heavy repair drones do I have? It won't actually tell me because they are not... I can only buy 12. Okay, well that's 12 more than I had. And the heavy repair drones aren't actually in the cargo bay, they're equipped to the ship, so... Let's leave. But you know what? I had a shipyard in here. I wonder what ships are for sale. Valkyrie, the Ventura, the Venture, Valnir, Lyra, Loki, Midgard, Venera, and uh, yeah, their Eris class cruisers, 11 credits. Not 11 credits, 11 9 credits. Their Cavalier carrier is 87,500,000. Halberds, even more. Well, I'm apparently at a high enough level, I can actually fly around in these ships now. Just don't have the coin to buy them. Okay. Take care. As you take your leave. Set up this way. Light. Oh look! A wormhole. I can build a tea gate here. Okay, so this area wasn't as empty as I thought. I mean, it was empty. There's no resources or any other secondary buildings like uh, mining operations or automated repair facilities, but there is a wormhole, so... Apparently, it instantly became a tea gate. I mean, okay, I won't complain. I mean, it should help getting down here faster. Given the fact that the next closest tea gate was, I believe... here or there was one like off in this area I think yeah here all the way over here and I had to just basically fly all the territory, as I said before half this game were in hostile territory what else is new well because I'm going on this massive territory uh, reclamation or yeah, I guess reclamation binge, and I figured if I'm heading in this direction anyway, I might as well uh, cut a bloody swath from point A to point B. So I wonder if I actually... All hands we've entered a hostile 
region. He has a suspect. You go here. And exit here. And then merge with this fleet. In the meantime. Affirmative. Attack this stage. Battle has started. We may be stationary. And we go to war against shipping yet again. There's also an anomaly in the air. Now the hostile fleet shows up, so the boy fighters. Of course it is. Cloak. Cloak. Okay, boost the shields and the repair thing, because apparently they can still see me cloak. Taking fire. Target eliminated. Engaging automated protocols. All weapons on auto mode. Reinitializing shields. If their fighters were attacking me. Well, their ships just seem to be over here, so I'm guessing those are actually fighters. Doesn't explain why they can still see my vessel. I'll drink some hogwash in heaven. Right, amplify the damage resistance. Start killing We boost the shields. What are we shooting at this? That cruiser's dead. Everyone to the escape pod. That freight liner's dead. There's no shame in retreat. The war against shipping has gone well, apparently. Let's not target that freight liner. Pull that one up, though. Now let's actually see where we're going. Now that the fleet's You're gone, let's take care of the gun platforms. We're coming up on a hostile installation. I'm well aware of that. Everybody, dogpile on the platform. Bounce into the station. Luckily, there's no collision damage. It's none that I know of.
and we've captured the zone. And I go up yet another level, apparently. And one skill point and one perk point. We call the fighters. You know what? Let us dock. Alright, so I need four skill points to upgrade any kind of skill. So I won't be upgrading any kind of skill right now. But as for perks, I gotta be honest. Half of me doesn't really pay attention to what exactly I upgrade. A little brigand will increase boarding proficiency. I still need... 23 pillage points in order to get Savvy Chief 3. There's also Tread Lightly, which gains 50% resistance to mines. There's also various engineering ones where I can get hacking and fixing and mine laying. Various personal ones where I can get at diplomacy. Government ones which increase credits from uh, every zone I control. Various weapon systems training, various ship proficiencies, all that fun stuff, and I have not had a plan for any of these. Let's go with Diplomacy 3, because I know Diplomacy Merchant and I think Hacker actually unlock certain dialogue options in the story mode. It's like one dialogue option per skill, and uh, sometimes I miss them, sometimes I don't, but... If I do manage to take that route, it's usually to my benefit, so let's go that way. Then uh, we sell everything we managed to pick up. And then also rearm and repair. And there's no shipyard here, so it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, where is... I don't really see this anomaly. I'm guessing my fleet's bouncing into each other. So is that it? But no, that's just the background. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Alright, so this is everything that we picked up. So, construct that. Upgrade that one. I know it costs ore and various other things to upgrade, but... Uh, pay out eventually. Max not actually arrived yet. Sort of. Did arrive, but um they haven't actually merged with the other AI fleet. So, as of late, I don't know if it's just big ships or whatnot. But, um, I prefer the name Honor Armada, so I'm going with that. Apparently, Nika is now in command. Because her picture is listed up here. But now that everybody in the fleet is now back, and the fleet is at what passes for full strength, even though it's basically every ship that I have piled into one another. Why are these red? I could have sworn that they were... Why are these blue? I could have sworn they were red originally. I don't know, maybe I did something and uh, whoever owns them no longer hates me now. But on that note, um, I mean, I want to say I've secured this area relatively well. Let's actually head up light. this way. One of two reasons. One, uh, it's still, this is still a hostile zone bordering 
what's now my territory and two territory and two looks like this zone may actually go all the way up here so if i do manage to take this zone this zone might actually be a different thing uh, i would effectively as far as i can tell combine this entire basically line and effectively control pretty much this whole side of the map this whole edge of the map i should say and that is a hostile enemy fleet heading down this way i'm assuming probably just exploring but you know it's right nearby so let's blow these guys up the other ship was and I think they just blew it up. And you're gone. Target destroyed. Not I think it was just the destroyer. When did destroyers get that small? Alright, so let's hit this relay satellite just to see what's here. Well, you can't because you decided to fight me. Why am I fighting for it? Why am I fighting for it? Well, do apparently have missiles, so... I don't have very many weapons, but uh, they still have weapons. And the war against shipping continues. All right, so let's hack this thing. Apparently hacking involves shooting it. And now we know what the zone looks like, and it looks like this. Let's hit this forward operator. Well, it looks like the zone actually ends at this line so we wouldn't wouldn't actually connect well basically the two parts of our realm I and mean, even if we did connect this section with our main area this area is still uh disconnected as is this area and i'm not cutting a swath clean through my allies just to get to it and this is a whole lot of anomalies making it very hard to see scan these to get rid of them while I'm in the middle of combat These anomalies are doing. Target destroyed. And we've captured the zone, and I wasn't even paying attention because I'm trying to clear these anomalies. 
Okay then. Who else is shooting? There's still an enemy fleet here. Somehow doubt that. And once again, we pick up more pirate currency, the form of plasma rifles. because I can see it. Alright, and we just basically take two more hexagons. As I suspected upon seeing the relay station, we don't actually connect our territory. That's what I guess this zone is for. Possibly part of this zone. Usually, each zone is usually about four hexagons in, si in various size. Although more if it contains something special like, say, a planet. So either there's a planet in here, or it's one, two, three, four hexagons for here, or one, two, three hexagons for this zone, and then another three for that one. But either way, I really want to know what's going on at the Proxima Station, so unless there's something I can see on the way, I may just simply jump there. Yeah, I'm not seeing any re relay satellite here, so unless it's like butting up against the edge of the map, in this area, it's not in this hexagon. It would be nice if it had a larger scanning range, but I guess that's what the relay satellite is for. A random artifact. Ball. All decks were flying through hostile space. We're always flying through hostile space. What else is new? So have I lost anybody yet? Does not look like it. Right, and it doesn't matter because this whole zone is now friendly ter uh, allied territory. Alright, so I guess I figure out what exactly is in here not right now. Uh, because I'm not about to fight it, so let's jump here. Because it's a storyline mission, we can just simply warp right there. So let's do that. And what's going on? Who is? No, I don't actually want to know. Just shoot the thing. Deploy fighters. I haven't even finished researching the thing and they're already trying to kill it. Which I guess makes perfect sense, I mean. Does it look any different? I don't actually know. What are you, and are you easier to kill? Probably. Of course it is, because now they're fighting me. One down. Where is my fleet? My fleet should be right on top of me. 
Also, this thing's right next to Concordia. Where's the defensive fleet? Boost the shields. Let's not have a weaker sh uh, shield facing be pointed at the enemy. And Dreadnought goes bye bye. Who's next? Another battleship. Okay. This one's actually right on top of Concordia, I think. That's the carrier. Now, I'm surprised. Concordia is supposed to be the um, headquarters for our f uh, fleet. But unlike every other starbase I've seen, it doesn't have stationary defenses. What's up with that? Biometric shielding, so can actually send over troops. That's a lot of weapons fire. That carrier goes bye bye. Also, there's a battleship. Derelict. Fun. Okay, so Rainer Trace. He is the scientist uh, guy in charge of the R&D department. Uh, he is our former boss, now turned employee that uh, I mentioned earlier. So, yeah, so all clear. It's good that you arrived when you did. I don't think the Proxima would have made it otherwise. It's still in a very fragile state. So you're telling me it's a glass cannon. So was there no indication that an attack would happen? What's our intel division doing? Or glad it could help Rainer? You just make sure that thing gets operational. Uh, let's wonder what the intel division was doing. I don't know. I'll talk to Emmerich's about it. In the meantime, I'm stepping up security patrols in the area. You do that. This thing's right next to our uh, HQ. And we shouldn't be able to penetrate that close in. And yet they do regularly. Let's collect everything. Now let's dock at home, because we've been away for quite some time, fighting off in the frontiers. Sell all of this. Rearm, don't need to repair. The shipyard, just for fun. Yeah, 65 million for our dreadnought. I got less than a tenth of that. Their paths cross again. Look at research. The only two things I have left for the Proxima. Well, I can research uh, emergency jump, but uh, still need more ore and a whole boatload of credits for the shielded core housing. So now let's get the emergency jump done, just to get it out of the way. And I still need 15, less than 15,000 ore and about 9 million credits in order to get the final piece. So we continue on with the Proxim, with uh, researching the Proxima, and hopefully, hopefully, eventually, they'll actually get around to building the dang thing. So 84%. I don't know if that's just the health of the station or... You know, that's how much percentage I've completed of the Proxima. Yeah, maybe it does look slightly different. I don't know if it's been doing that after, ever since I started researching each piece, or it's a case that, you know, once it got to this point, it changed what it looked like. I could have sworn the first couple of things that I researched didn't look like that. And it didn't really make any change originally. I would kind of like to see what this thing looks like as I add uh, each, piece, each new piece to it, but um, 
Again, I was away off in the frontier, fighting the good fight, getting all the resources for this massive, massive, I'm assuming planet-destroying capable super weapon, which I'm not entirely certain will we either A, need, I mean, we probably do need it, because the pirates will have one, and B, uh, will be used in a moral and effective manner, and why can't I dock with it? I can just simply dock with Concordia Station. At least I'm assuming this is Concordia Station. Yep, it says Concordia right there, and I have access to all the stuff, including my garage, but I can technically access my garage from, well, everywhere. But I do also have research and shipbuilding here, as well as construction. So emergency jump is at 25%. Did I lose anybody in the fleet from that? The answer is no, so that is a good thing. I still really want to know what exactly is here. Part of me wants to uh, figure that out, wants to go and try to find that out. Part of me also doesn't really care because it's no longer hostile territory, and it's not surrounded by hostile territory anymore, so chances are very, very good. It will never stop being friendly territory unless I go to war against... Whoever now claims it, which I'm assuming is the Maganot. And uh, I like the Maganot, so I'm not about to declare war on them. So unless they start something, I'm fine leaving them to it. Send a fleet out anywhere. Survey that. Okay, so I had plans on trying to take carve out another chunk of the sent chunk barony. Not another chunk of the sent chunk barony. A chunk of the sent chunk barony because I haven't really fought them on their home turf yet. Uh, instead, I defended this area, which didn't technically always need defending, uh, and then cut a swath up here, taking more and more territory. So I now have more stuff. And I won't complain about having more stuff. Especially considering the final uh, piece of Proxima Research, the final thing I need to uh, complete and then move on to the rest of the game, uh, not the emergency jump, that's 73% completing, but the shielded core housing, I need 55,000 uh, ore, of which I have 46,000 and change, so I need less than 9,000 of it, uh, of ore. And uh, I need about 10 million credits, of which I have 1.4 million. So... Of course, I just picked up uh, just shy of 4 million ore, so... I could probably just sit here for forever and a day and the ore, and I will eventually get enough ore and in a surprisingly timely manner. And then I just have to finish researching the final piece, the Proxima gets built, and we can move on. Uh, but that's all going to be another issue for another day, because I'm going to call it here. Everybody stay safe from the plague, and, um, have a good day.